Hi, I'm Mike McCormick here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio in Frankfurt. And welcome today to Dan Fitzgerald, the Chief Product Officer at Travel Do. Welcome, Hi. Dan. How you Thanks for joining us. So, mobile's been a big part of the story, certainly here at the uh, conference and uh, just out in the marketplace in general. Um, when you look about at apps, uh, how much of an influence is everybody's B2C experiences having on what's being developed for the B2B sure. market? Well, well Travel Do is a, a, a B2B product, but right. we're part of Expedia. So, and we have access to the teams that are working on the B2C side, so it's very natural for that to flow through to what we do. But we kind of think of it like training. So these B2C apps are kind of training people about how travel works. So for us, we could think of a different way to do it, but that would be going against what people already know. Right. So that's kind of how we think of it. And without travel or adoption, what does it matter anyway, right? They have yeah. to, you want people, if people have to use the products. And it seems like it's a, just a big convergence. But, but what's right. interesting also is when you look at the home screens of an Expedia or Booking.com or even a Travel Do now, they're not really designed by the designers. It's actually two-way. Uh, the designers propose hundreds of different options and A-B test which really work for the travelers. Right. So it's kind of interesting. The apps are training the people, but the people are also training the apps. And there really is no, it's all uh, blurred between really, you're live testing all the time, right? You're with your products. Uh, uh, absolutely, your, right, it's very features. dynamic these days. Right, right, this right. is the, the, new, uh, the new mode. So what, what is it telling you? What are the top trends? Where do you see the, you know, where is it all going in your, in so, your so, uh, so So certainly mobile. I mean, we're here today to announce a new mobile product on expense. So we really see that tipping point now where people are using uh, the mobile app in preference almost to the, uh, to the, to the web, maybe 40, 50% of the time. Right. But other trends are we're definitely keeping an eye on. So NDC, of right. course. So the GDS is, gonna, they're not going anywhere. Uh, they're an important backbone, but I think we see the determination of people to really uh, make evolve the ecosystem coming through in things like NDC. So we're pretty excited to see how that's going to rebalance things. Right, right. And uh, um, what, are, what are the biggest uh, challenges you still that you're trying to overcome in terms of uh, you know need your your customer needs? What, what's what's on the horizon? What features are you developing? Yeah, well, we definitely are trying to make things just easier for the travelers, right? I mean, right. they don't want to spend the time in doing the things. So, you know, we are looking at technologies uh, like AI uh, to try and make things just smarter uh, for people to, uh, to, people to use. Um, I'm not a huge believer uh, in AI as a, uh, as, a, uh, as a way to replace people. Right. I, I think that's where it, it really fails. If you've ever seen these demos, sometimes you see of people right talking to a, a, a smart bot, it's just horrible. Right. But the technology behind, you know, it's kind of hidden, and you'll see it in things like smarter searches or better, better OCR, uh, where it's just working better. Right. So I think these, these AI, uh, the, the buzz around AI, is going to be, a, it, people are going to be disappointed that they don't see these intelligent, uh, artificial people. Right. But they are going to have better experiences on places like Travel Do and on the web. Uh, with the apps just really being smarter, looking at your past preferences, and giving you what you want. Right. Uh, final question, you know, any advice for the travel buyers here? Like, what should they be focused on? What, what, what's a, what are you telling them when you meet with them? Well, I think they still need to think about what their key goals are. It's very, in, it's very easy to get carried away with the technology, and I'm a technologist, and, right. and, and I do that as well. Right. But to really still think about what the key goals are, and then try and map on which of these shiny new technologies are going to help you move, you know, move that cursor towards your uh, your your key business objectives? Yeah, that's great. Great insights from uh, Dan Fitzgerald, Travel Do. Again, I'm Mike McCormick here at Broadcast Studio, live in Frankfurt.